good morning guys and girls, I hope you're all doing bloody well and welcome along to another episode of Draw With Mikey, yeah. This is the super casual midweek series which is barely edited at all and it's just me rambling into the microphone as I get to read through your comments from the last episode. It's a pleasure to do, it's a nice way to catch up but it does mean that there's probably spoiler alerts and swearing and we just kind of talk about anything. I just like to say hi to you lot. Um, just got to tell you straight away, it's like super early in the morning before work right now um, in order to get this recording out of the way because I'm going to be really busy after work. So this is going to be one of those dulcet tone episodes. I am, I'm barely awake right now. Let's have a sip. I've just made a coffee, just had a wee. That's literally the only two things I've done. Let's sip this. Mm. I'm sure you wanted to know that. Let's share. So, um, obviously, sometimes when the episode goes up, some of you guys are the notification squad and you dive in real early to say hello. I bloody love you guys. Only for games lol says sup. Rats Gardevoir says hashtag hardcore crew. Cigar Chowdhury says Brienne of fucking tough. Yes. We um, did some Brienne character sketches the other day because it's kind of Game of Thrones themed season. Although I completely go in and out of doing that. And uh, yeah, right now you've probably noticed from the thumbnail already, um, I just had a really quick go at a quick Game of Thrones um, cartoon, basically. So it only took like maybe a quick hour just to draw together the other night. I just had to fit it in, which means um, there's nothing particularly time lapsey going on at your screen at the moment. It's just me quickly drawing that before I stuck it onto the interwebs and shared it with the world. And simply because, right? If you think about this, and I'm sure like loads of people are saying it already, like Game of Thrones Season 7, I understand that they have to accelerate the plot really quickly, and they've got less episodes to do it in. So, you know, something has to happen, and then really snappy, something else has to kick in as well as a result. So all of a sudden, like time-space techniques, everybody's developed like really weird jitsu, because they can just run at a billion miles an hour. A crow can travel like a hundred thousand miles down to the bottom of Westeros and Danny can ride a dragon back in the space of like five minutes and shit. Like, fine. fine. I mean, I don't like it. I don't think it's fine at all, actually. I'm a stickler. Um, but I'm going to let all of that shit go. Um, but fuck me, right? Shittest fucking plan in the world. If any of you watch Game of Thrones, spoiler alert. They were just like, oh, we need to go and get um like one of the undead and bring themselves to prove to Cersei that the dead can live. And firstly, like... That's a fucking shit idea because it's cost you so many people's lives. It cost you a fucking dragon to do that. I hope you're proud of yourselves, you dicks. And secondly, of course Cersei knows the dead can walk. She has one. She li Sir Gregor Clegane, she literally had Kyburn make her one. This isn't news to her. She's been doing this shit off her own back for ages. <laughs> well, it's going into a morning rant already. Basically... My point being is, like, how was the White Walker planning to get south of the wall, the magic wall that guards the realms of men, um, if he didn't have a dragon? But no, you fucking mugs just went up there and gave him the tools he needed to get the job done. Oh, I'm not even angry at the characters, I'm angry at the writers. And to be fair, like, George might have game planned this anyway. The idea of one of the dragons dying is pretty grim and horrible, so it's probably the sort of thing George would include anyway. But just... Fuck, man, if you hadn't bothered with that shit fucking plan, it'd all still be north of a wall. They're not even real, and that really pissed me off. <laughs> really angry at how reckless they were. Ah, oh, okay. So, <laughs> so anyway, one of your comments. Um, Samar Samari Tolbert says, I might start drawing when I get home from school. Mikey should be proud. Oh yeah, I am proud. If you like drawing, get in, get creative, make sure you do your homework first, though. And Missy Allenson says, I'm resisting the urge to say second. God damn it. Also, I won't say early because obviously I'm just on time. You early birds. Bloody love you guys. Um, Samari Tolbert also says, you can just call me Sam. Too late. I've called you Samari, good sir. And Devin Lewis says, how long did it take for you to adjust to digital art? Also, have you heard of me and the Devil Blues? The art is on another level. Devin, I'm still adjusting, dude. Like, a digital artwork, sip of coffee. Oh my, it's, I'm not a morning person. Digital artwork is um, still not quite there for me. Like, you still have to translate the idea across. If I work with pencil, I often feel like I can get, like, a, a really light pencil layer that's just basing building blocks, um, and maybe, like, a kind of a quick pencil run-through for placement of features. But if I go slow enough, that final pencil line is, like, good to go, and good to get uh, transcribe straight into a ink layer uh, whereas digital i've like building blocks a rough sketch out what is almost a funnel of a layer and at least one more layer sometimes even another to kind of get those crisper lines from 
trying to speed up my digital artwork and really pin that down. I love it for the colouring. Obviously, you can colour in digital art and do variations very, very quickly and play around. Um, but yeah, it took me a long time, dude. Like, I don't know, like, how many DWM since I first started using the UG tablet I used before I picked up this Huion? Uh, like, weeks and weeks and weeks of just cracking at it. It's not a smooth transfer. You've really got to just put in the effort. It's still not there for me, but it's better. Um, and also, thanks for the suggestion for me and for Devil Blues. Uh, 2JZ says, is that the last Game of Thrones? Um, in terms of the DWM episode here, maybe not. I still haven't done any Daenerys stuff. I was planning to do it maybe for this one. Didn't have time. Uh, and last Game of Thrones episode. Yeah, but I think that last episode is it for the season. So on Film Cram, where I'm like cramming down the uh, seasons as well, I've still like written up uh, series five, but haven't crammed it all down to make the video. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that straight away or just let it kind of hang in the air until we get into the next final season of Game of Thrones as well. We'll see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, CV Drawing Etchy says, hey, wow, you're really good at drawing abs and buffed women. Thank you very much. I like your version of Brienne a lot. It's really nice to hear stroke watch your videos whilst I'm working on my own stuff. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying the super mellow version CV we've got going on from time to time. I hate spiders too. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, I remember last episode now. I remember what we talked about. Oh shit. I hate spiders too. I can't sleep if I know for sure there's a spider somewhere in the room. Absolutely. But spider girls are kind of hot sometimes. That is, <laughs> that is incorrect CV. You are wrong. Uh, Joel says, what about a reverse one? Girl on bottom spider head on top. Fuck off. <laughs> it's disgusting. Well, maybe a girl on the bottom, spider bottom top, no head at all. Just a regular girl with two legs and six arms. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> there is like, um, uh, oh fuck, so ages and ages ago, like uh, just one of those many things on the back burner. Um, what you'll probably notice, Sidetrack, is that um, the uploads, I'm still trying to keep this vaguely three uploads a week on the um, channel. Sometimes it's two. And I've been kind of just mixing up the Monday slot. It used to just be really consistently uh, draw simple easy, um, which is fine. I still like doing that from time to time with popular characters. But Monday's come a, become a bit more of an open slot where it might just be a talk about something or it might just be some product reviews when people send me stuff, which is really nice to get things from companies. Um, but also one of the other ideas I had for it was uh, abomination combinations, which is basically I asked you guys for three different animal designs ages and ages ago in a DWM episode uh, to kind of like just have a go at mixing up to create some kind of horrible awful hybrid animal because it's a really fucking weird game that my friends and I used to play back in uh like on and off back in tech class years and years ago at school we came up with some disgusting creatures so I'm actually like I'm actually quite close to doing some stuff like that Joel getting back on the abomo combos um drawings furthest from god something like that that will be its kind of theme so yeah watch this space for that sort of thing uh, SRX says Tormond approves. Oh yeah, Tormond likes a bit of Brienne. She's got some, like the actress is not super hen. She's definitely a very big lady. But like, I always imagine Brienne is like being like fucking racked. Do you know what I mean? Like having big arms and just like a plow horse kind of frame. Uh, Ao Kohai says nice and immortal base says Mikey, incredible drawer. Oh my god. Thank you very much, Immortal Base. Not that incredible, just getting some ideas and sketches down. Tim, know your damn business, says, Finally, on the sixth day here at Rise, to draw once more, to think I almost went to sleep before I saw your new video. I finally got something finished, and I'm currently working on making a Spider-Man drawing. Awesome work as ever, Mikey. If you know I was looking at some old anime, I've watched like Tenchi Moyo and Outlaw Star. Outlaw Star! Yeah, with like the cat girl species, and they're these little genetic girls that help pilot the ships, right? Or something like that. Um, I remember Outlaw Star, I watched a lot of that, and it's like, oh wait, I don't know if I'm getting confused with Cowboy Bebop, but like, when they're in the time-space zone, which is like their warp zone, if you don't come out the other end correctly, you're lost in a faded version of time-space, like forever, and you can never return to reality. Is that Cowboy Bebop, or is that Outlaw Star? I remember it being like, really dark and messed up, they only touched on it one episode, but it's fucked up shit. Uh, anyway, you've made some amazing art for both, and you've included a link, I always suggest not including links because sometimes it takes me ages to go through all your stuff and the episode's gone but i will have a look <gasps> ram and ram well done very good sir oh wow you've <laughs> you've gone heavy on those sakura petals like i like it because it's raining sakura but this is literally it's pouring sheer pink from the sky that's really good though i like the pose you've done well sir very very good 
The Aaron Horror Show says, you've mastered drawing on paper, now you've mastered digital drawing. Incorrect, incorrect, but very kind to say. The only logical step after this, naked anime girl sculptures. They'll put them right next to the statue of David and your legend will only grow stronger, Mikey. Make it happen. <laughs> I love the idea. Like, um... I mean, it's, it's just use Sevia as an example because she's got loads of them in her um, room tour. Um, yeah, like uh, etchy anime sculptures. So like you can have like maybe you've got like a folder full of some kind of uh, risky anime poses and you use it as reference drawings from time to time. If you've got just some sculptures, like you can't just close that on your turn your computer off. That's just sitting there, which is absolutely fine if you like that stuff. Go for it. But it just means if you've got people around, like. You're going to have to explain it every fucking time. So uh, I don't know if I want to get... You know, I'm really fucking tempted. Like, people have to come into my house every now and then because it's like, oh, I'm not even going to get into it. But time to time, people turn up and just, like, measure shit and have a look at stuff. And, like, uh, I'd love to just make this really fucking awkward, massive piece of clay erotic artwork. <laughs> just leave it right in the middle of a lounge or something and <laughs> just got to walk around it. Just, it would literally just be fucking massive wangs. <laughs> just wangs and tits everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why it's pleasing me. First thing in the morning. <laughs> I just love to make the most inappropriate fucking thing I could and just leave it for when people turn up. Oh, that'd be a conversation piece. You know, I hated that idea at first. Now I'm now I love it in the space of seconds. You've turned me around. Um, but yeah, you see, like uh, some people make really fucking well, like really fucking skilled people make some of these um anime figurines and stuff. Not the really cheap, shitty keyring stuff, but like the actual good ones are. Fucking, these people are skilled sculptors. You are correct. Uh, Wilhelm says, will you make some fucking good... Oh, you make some fucking good Game of Thrones stuff. Thank you. Uh, though you should make it a bit more not safe for work. No, Wilhelm, this is a safe... Other than when I swear my ass off in this series, this is a safe for work family channel with um, a bit of an etchy bent to it simply because fuck the man and fuck the system. Um, but also because it, I want to keep it, you know, safe-ish and approachable so that people can get into drawing without being put off um, by thinking it's a little bit too adult. I want everyone to get into drawing it if they want to. That's why I make, like, all these YouTube videos and stuff. I could, like, well, I'm not, not going to, so it's not like a threat. But, like, um, people used to tell me, oh, why don't you uh, just put your tutorials on Patreon and you can link to them and people can just go there. And I'm like, yeah, that probably makes sense. I'd probably be making more money right now. Um, but that's not the point. Do you know what I mean? Like, I want... Anyone who wants to get into drawing, I want them to have the access to it. I'll share that knowledge happily because uh, it makes me happy. Then people on Patreon support me because of that, thank God, um, to a limited degree. Although I'm trying to obviously always make that grow and become like a full-time thing. Um, but no, I need um, I need to make, well, my own agenda is if people like art, I want them to learn to draw art and stuff because it's really important to me. That means um, you've got to limit the tits and ass that go on the channel as well. Uh, Anime Mastermind says he drew all of that in 57 minutes. It would take me an hour to draw even one of those. Oh, Anime Mastermind, bless you, but no. <laughs> mm. Uh, bug player knows Anime Mastermind. If you look closely at the computer clock, he started around 11 hours and ended at 22 hours. It's pretty sped up. Absolutely, it's sped up. So, like, uh, way back when this series started, I used to talk and draw and do neither particularly well. Like, for the first 10 ever episodes, I think, of Draw of Mikey. Uh, and then I suddenly had to clock that I was going to separate out the drawing and, like, squeeze it down to however long it took me to talk. So, I'm reading your comments separately and you're watching on screen what I was drawing just recently, all at the same time. Because, you know, I'm just filling out a sketchbook or getting some ideas down, and maybe you guys are still doing the same in the background as ever. So, um, yeah, I just, uh, I like to time lapse that shit. <laughs> Bless you for thinking I did it all in a really quick amount of time. I'm not a quick worker. Uh, Takeshi Kishimoto says, it was Dragon Ball Z for me. And I'm assuming that is a uh, response in relation to one of the questions we threw out last episode, which was, uh, what, like, anime and manga? Because obviously you might be introduced to anime and manga and just be like, oh yeah, there's this thing in the background, I've heard of this, great. And then... Like, it might not, it's often is the first one, but it might be, like, a little bit later down the line, you get exposed to some particular series or show, or you read some anime or manga, that just really fucking makes you stop and go, holy shit, what the fuck is this? This is what I want to be reading. This is incredible. What is this sort of stuff? You know, it kind of opens your eyes to the whole world of it. 
really recently, really randomly. I don't know if any of you guys follow Comic Book Girl 19, but she did a video about how um, back in the day, Sailor Moon just blew her mind. She was saying, like, as an audience member, she was ready for it and she had no idea it existed and stuff. She kept, like, a picture of it that she cut out of, like, a TV guide or something in her pocket. It's amazing. Um, so, yeah, maybe Dragon Ball Z was the one that blew it into the um, prospects for you. Uh, even my friends who don't particularly have any interest in anime and manga and stuff like that, some of them had Sky TV back in the day and, like, they used to watch Dragon Ball Z and, like, uh, that was their gateway as well although i think for me it was it was like what so there's oh, it, it's like a long convoluted story but basically there was like a few random video cassettes or snippets of things that i would come across and just be like what is that world but like i was too young and too naive and underdeveloped in the brain to like fully capture it but every now and then i'd see like the edge of a untranslated episode of um fist of the north star or something and just be like what was that it was some cartoon but it was different and i don't know how to express it and then eventually someone turned up at my house and they had like this was like maybe 1995 to 1998 that kind of window pre-cusp of internet and it had like a cd on it and this cd had an advert for an anime called um pied piper of hamlin and it had the first five episodes of the original airing of hunter hunter with the original theme song sorry i'm too sleepy Anyway, for those of you who weren't asking, that was a theme tune. Um, and it had a very different vibe to it for early Hunter Hunter. Um, but I was just like, what is this? This is fucking amazing. And that was when, like, oh, this is how you can fucking tell your age, if any of you know what this is. This is back when Napster was massive. Napster had been like this massive thing all of a sudden. And all of a sudden, people were coming around to the idea that you could stream and torrent stuff. Like, this was new fucking technology, apparently. Um, so I went on like um, a torrent website. I don't know what it was. Obviously, it shut down years ago. Um, which is don't don't torrent shit, man. Like it fucking exposes your computer. But like uh, I just randomly was typing in like anime, manga, ninja, shit like that because I'd seen Ninja Scroll and I was like more of that. And I downloaded the most random fucking like it was episode nine of Naruto back in the day, and this random like i think it's episode nine but this random fucking episode bear in mind i'd never seen anything like it had no context it was when uh sasuke and naruto are fighting is it zabaza with the um like one of shinobi kanata guys he's got like this great big sword oh this is turning into story time with mikey again i'm so sorry um but um basically it's just in the middle of a fight kakashi's already uh sealed in this water cocoon technique and then they like Naruto shadow clones himself and jumps on him and then transforms into a fucking a shuriken which he throws to Sasuke who throws it and it's two shurikens it's shadow shuriken no jutsu and kage kage shuriken no jutsu and all this sort of shit and then like oh yeah what was it he says the shuriken's got a cool name for techniques like um uh evil wind shadow windmill and stuff like that and he throws it and it releases Kakashi and Zabaza like and Kakashi fight they do a shadow clone technique I had never seen anything like that in my life my mind was fucking blown right open and because i caught this random like episode where the shit was already going down i was like who are these people what is this thing i need this in my life it was naruto of all things like really just like absolutely sucked me in and i was already all over that hunter hunter shit but naruto really excited me that like random episode nine and of course then it became a world of just fucking filler episodes and that's let's not go into a filler rant but yeah that was one of the ones for me um i guess there was a, a handful that slowly got the ball rolling at my end but a sip of coffee that was definitely one of like the big moments i used to just fucking because back then dial up modems so if you wanted to torrent an episode of a fucking anime i would fucking connect that torrent and I might get that full 175 megabyte episode. I might have downloaded that within about three or four days. I fucking shit you not. You had to want it. You had to get it. So I would be like itching to like see the next possible thing of what this was. Okay. Okay. 
enough ranting enough enough story time with mikey uh so thank you takeshi kishimoto for um answering that question uh the boomstick says thank you for the great advice nothing wrong with a gutter mind by the way always good for a giggle absolutely madam uh your brienne drawing looks amazing i cannot wait for next season thank you very much oh i can't believe game of thrones is coming to a close it's it's fucking modern times we're going to get thrown into the future and see what we're going to do next time round. but yeah you can tell they've had to like press the fast forward button and the writing's get a li- getting a little bit reckless in order to wrap things up we'll see how the series goes a boomstick evan catrone says hey mikey hello evan whenever i draw based on a real person or an existing character it comes out looking like their long lost cousin the features are never quite right any advice yeah absolutely draw it stop Look at the version, the original character that you were trying to recreate, or imagine very strongly in your mind whichever character you were trying to come up with, and then start to get really objective about your own artwork and look at what are the differences between what you can see and what you've made. Were the eyes too close together, too big compared to the face, too small, is the hair a little bit off, is the flow or the weight of the pose a little bit off? Start to objectively study your own work, and you're going to get a very good eye from doing that, and you're going to learn to develop your techniques. Troll La 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 says, you should draw the android chick from Dragon Ball Z, or Mikasa from Attack on Titan, like this so Mikey sees it. Uh, Mikasa I've done, I'll probably do another one in a slightly different style. Uh, and Android 18 is on the list, don't you know, I'm always getting Android 18 requests actually, which is crazy, because... Uh, it's like Dragon Ball's still going, I'm sure they remade a movie, because the Dragon Ball... Wait, what was that film? It's Dragon Ball Evolution, isn't it? It's like one of the worst films in the world. Watch, um, I strongly recommend you watch a Chris Stuckman video about Dragon Ball Evolution. It summarizes how bad it is. But because that was so bad, apparently um, the guy came out of retirement at Old Akira and he, he like helped work on a new Dragon Ball um, animated movie so that that was the newest thing in Dragon Ball, not the bullshit film. Like it really broke his heart. Uh, so yeah, Dragon Ball, it's always time for that. Roman says, hi Mikey, can you make a hips tutorial? Uh, we can do, I've done like a body one, but I have had some more hips, torso particular stuff. And Elmer's Glue says, uh, hey Mikey, I think it's absolutely terrific idea for you to do an art live stream. I'm sure many people would watch it, including myself. Yeah, but I couldn't stream it first thing in the morning like this, it'd be a mess. Not a big fan of the Twitch platform though, so I'd personally recommend you try streaming on YouTube if you do. Um... Yeah, I've I've got no um, preference between one or the other. I'm assuming Twitch is more for um, gamers, I guess, and stuff like that. But I don't know if you can just sit down and do art. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll think about it again. This is uh, all future tech, but we'll um, mull through the ideas. Oh, Roman Further says, also, do you know Prison School? The manga is just too hilarious and the art is just mind-blowing. Um, I know of Prison School. Prison School's the one, right, where there's this character with glasses and silver hair and she's got, like, massive jugs. Um, which again is one of those ones where it just I haven't quite bothered watching it because I'm just like oh this is one of those ones where like the entire plots might just be that the characters like are etchy and sexy and, and like that doesn't drive me to watch an anime like anything that's like a harem or like the one where the characters fight by bouncing their butts together and stuff like I get it I get the target audience they're going for but that doesn't interest me as an anime like as a visual screen grab you can probably go yeah wow look at those but like, I don't know, I like an anime that's better, basically, but it's got something happening in the story. Um, hashtag, I still haven't watched any Boku no Hero Academia, but it's definitely on my thing to do. I had to, um, someone in real life kindly lent me um, a DVD and someone else kindly lent me uh, the Duncan Egg books from uh, Game of Thrones. So, like, I have no spare time and I've really just struggled even to read and watch those things. They've really kindly lent me just so I can actually hand them back. Oh, my God, I must hand it back today um, and get that out of the way. So, yeah, getting round to things. We're going to do it eventually. Do, 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 do. Lord Kahuna says, do an Android 18 or Wendy Marvel. Android 18 again. Wendy Marvel, is she? Like Captain Marvel, the blonde chick. Oh, you know who I'm thinking of? Power Girl. She's got, like, a white top with some... Wendy Marvel. Oh, wow. I thought Wendy Marvel was literally a, a Marvel character. She's from Fairy Tale. Oh, she's a Sky Dragon Slayer. Did I know that? I know, like, Natsu's a Fire Dragon one. They've got the Iron Dragon one. They had a Snake Dragon one at some point in the manga. Okay, so she's a Sky Dragon Slayer. That's fine. We'll keep that tab open. I, like, I really haven't caught up with that in a very long time. And Finjord1 says, Hey my Kilo Finjord, just wondering if you've watched any of Yusuke Murata's live streams where he draws One Punch Man manga. He does that as a live stream? What? What? <laughs> oh, 
Are you fucking kidding me? He live streams that shit? That's control C. Go into the new tab. That's on my tab to do list. Ah, oh, that guy is so fucking. That guy is so fucking good. Ah, oh, let's immediately save that tab. Thank you very much for that suggestion. No, I had absolutely no knowledge of that vineyard. Thank you very much. Anime X3 says, Hey Mikey, hello X3. Can you do a more in depth tutorials about clothes and arms and how big they should be compared to the size of the body? Something uh, to note your old clothing videos weren't very clear. Yeah, no, that was way back in the day where I just I didn't have any technology. I was just using um, the light in my room, which is a very, you know, most lights are kind of beige, they're kind of orangey, yellowy glow. So I just had the lights on and I'd just be working on a sheet of paper with my old, old mobile phone. And that was where the audio was coming from as well. Nowadays, thanks to um, uh, the change that I scraped together on YouTube and Patreon, like all the all the funding goes back into the production. So now, like I've got an actual microphone that records sound, so that well, this doesn't sound great. Obviously, I'm pretty much just rolled out of bed, um, but often makes the audio sound better. I've got like different light bulbs now in these lamps, which are daylight light bulbs, so they're um, blue white instead of like beige orange so they kind of show up a bit more clearly I've got a slightly better model it's still really really old by the way it's a note 4 galaxy note 4 but I've got a slightly better phone with a slightly better camera for the visuals so uh, yeah I need to do some clothing tutorials which are a bit more particular um, they were really like random examples I think tight fitting heavy material versus loose flow material something like that like a yukata versus a schoolgirl top um, so yeah, there's loads of more variations of things. Obviously, I've done a skirts tutorial. That's like the first one of the new kind of focus that we're doing at the moment. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you'll find it easier to kind of get through now that I've got, you know, we've kind of moved into the later generations of production value. Wow, learning about production methods. Uh, Bright Darkness says, hey, Mikey, hello, but very good idea. Anime X3, nonetheless. Thank you. Oh, wait, there's a read, read more button on your comment. Oh, it's one more word. Smiley face. Uh, Bright Darkness says, Hey, Mikey. Hello, BD. I'm kind of new to the whole drawing people thing, so do you have any tips to get proportions right every time? Because when I try to make people as accurate as possible, it never looks quite right. Yeah, get yourself... Don't even worry about it being necessarily anime. Get yourself a how to draw comic book characters or anime characters book. Learn about head heights and body ratio. That's going to be your first starting point. And Godkiller127 says, hey Mikey, hello Godkiller. I haven't been watching you for a long time, but I love your style and personality. You're awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Although there's no personality this episode. It's tired, Mikey. I've recently gotten back into drawing after falling away from it after a school about eight years-ish. And I want to take it more seriously, and I'm currently going through an online traditional figure drawing course. I'm drawing it, but it's difficult. Excellent start. So this is a thing overall. If you want to learn to draw in any style, like anime style or cartoons and stuff like that, I'd really just say, firstly, try to draw as realistically as you can. Study figure drawing, study real life, and then work from that, because it completely changes up your game plan. And... Like, drawing in an anime style is really nice. I like the visuals of it quite a lot. It's got loads of pop. I like the tropes, the characterizations, and the expressions and stuff, and the style. Um, but it doesn't necessarily teach you good techniques for drawing in general. So if like you're into drawing anime, absolutely great. But like I would strongly suggest that's not the only way that you draw in your life. You need to mix it up as an artist, I think. Um, anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. you're going through an online traditional course. Oh, of course you said so. Do you think it's possible to develop skill in both crazy photo realize, realize, real? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, let's have a sip of coffee. Sorry, dude. Okay, crazy photorealism and anime cartoon illustration genres as what I'm passionate about is overspending my time. Read more. Uh, money and energy too broadly. All the best, man. No gold killer. I'd say go for it. Um, obviously, everyone's different, but yeah, um, dive into both. Dive into both, and they'll both inform each other to a limited degree. Do it. Do it. I'll be very impressed. Sora Leo Faith says, Hello, Mikey. Hello, Sora. I love your video. It really motivates me to keep drawing. Yes. Uh, my anime recommendation for you is Space Battleship Yamamoto 2199. This got made into a live action. Um, like straight to TV film, I think, in Japan. I've heard about this. You know an anime is good like this one when it gets a remake and still gets top reviews around the world. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you very much. Space Battleship Yamamoto. Is it anything like Battlestar Galactica where it's like humans in space fighting aliens? But it's got like a navy theme to it, something like that? Ah, oh, very good. But do you recommend the original or the remake or both? 
Who knows? Tony Bam <laughs> Banam wait Bamana Boney. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. Tony Banama Boney says, Hiya, Mike. Hello, Tones. I think I started drawing seriously when I joined a community called Amino, and then the requests rolled in. I felt so important I couldn't stop, and later I became an unstoppable art making train. Choo choo! <laughs> You've just written the sound effects in your comment. My question for you is this Do your parents or people close to you ever watch your videos? Hashtag hardcore crew. Hashtag share with Mikey. Um, uh, no, like I don't have much, by the way, of like traditional family air quotes. Uh, I've still got a mum somewhere, but like, uh, like nobody like in my family or like my close friends really follows his videos except a couple of them. Um, tend to watch this series because like I, I don't really hang out with them as much as I should. I'm like a bit of a shut in these days. Like I've got shit going on, so like uh, we tend to like follow a few videos just to make sure I'm still alive and stuff like that. It's really fucking sweet of them. Love those guys. Um, but no, for the most part, like you know. Your friends follow you on Instagram and see if you're doing work, but they might, they might not necessarily really be into drawing. Like, um, a lot of my closest friends, like, uh, are all completely different people with different passions and uh, different paths in life, which is kind of, you know, partly why I love them all, because everyone explores their own version of how they want to kind of live things. Uh, if everybody was exactly the same as you or your closest friends were, you'd have, like, a very narrow view of the world, which is fine. You'd probably be quite comfortable like that. Um, but now they're different folks doing their own fucking awesome things. Uh, so, yeah. Um, sometimes they know what's going on. They know I have a YouTube channel and they dip in every now and then, but they do their stuff and I do mine. Um... Kirill Stoyanov says, please draw Claire from Claymore. Oh, Kirill. Oh, dude. You know what? I've been working on some Claire stuff ages ago. I was doing some Claire stuff, I swear to you. Because, like, I'm pretty sure you're the guy who's been asking for Claire stuff for so long. And I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get this out of the way. And then just, um, I think it's because Game of Thrones started. And I just had to completely change up what I was doing on the channel again. There is, like... In fact, I'll I'll use it as footage for a DWM episode as well as doing a final pitch sometime. But I have so much B-roll footage on my computer of variations of Claire that didn't quite work out. Um, to, it would easily fill up a whole DWM. So we'll come back round to that. Don't think I wasn't I'm working on it in the background because I absolutely was. Shintaka says, hey Mikey, have you ever thought about doing web comics? Well, Shintaka, I think you'll notice right now I'm drawing a web comic on the screen as I speak, as you watch at the very least, because it's all put together in post-editing. Uh, that's a very well-timed question. Um, just to celebrate the end of Game of Thrones, really, that's all it is. Uh, Anna Mim says, my period started today at school. Oh, you make me feel the best, thanks. I'd also love your drawing. That is, well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anna Mims. Well, I hope you fucking got through the day. It sucks, obviously, but that's the nature of being a girl, I feel for you guys. Um, Yeah, thanks for sharing. Totally fine. <laughs> Have a good day. I hope you had a good day at school anyway. Uh, and I'm glad the video has helped, of course. Sims says, did I hear Brave Frontier? Ooh, was I mentioning Brave Frontier when I was trying to talk about something that I couldn't quite remember the name of? That happens a lot in this series, I... I remember something and then I ask you guys to go on about it. Oh, is this when we were talking about um must play video games? So what was one um just a sec. Valkyria Chronicles. That was the one that um you guys mentioned I should play, but I already have it on the cusp of getting out of PS3 again. One day when, you know, I don't have to work. Uh, Brave Frontier, is that another one of the recommendations? I will leave that tab open. Thank you very much. Um, Amazing sells Almaz, obviously in reference to the Brienne of Tarf artwork we did. Thank you very much. And Dash Rogers wants more male tutorials. No worries, dude. Edgar Kingmaker says, hello again, Mikey. Hello, Edgar. My mother is also pretty big into art, from acrylics to pottery. She was even famous in this area as a glass bead maker for a little while. Now she's into ceramic wearable bottles. Oh, cool. My father was also a natural artist, but sadly did not get to live out his full potential. It sucks. Anyway, uh, what I do while listening to your videos is sketches. I draw a free sketch for a randomly selected follower from my fur affinity every day and following a certain theme each week. So whenever your DWM comes out, I often put it on whilst I'm doing that day's sketch. Today's sketch was certainly not safe for work, so I won't link it. <laughs> Thank you very much, dude. Keep that shit out here. <laughs> also, I still have my old guy for VHS tapes. Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, my friend had like, I think between two different friends at university, they had almost all, is it like 13 episodes across like five or six VHS? I can't quite remember, but yeah, fuck, yeah, I remember that guy for shit, that's some good shit back in the day. So it was a really fucked up thing, wasn't it like, 
obviously the Zonoids were like the guardians of the Giver or something like this. They're like the jail keepers. Um, oh wait, no, the Giver was like there to stop the Zonoids. But I think like if you read between the lines, the Giver was like an out of control power, and the Zonoids were a bred and developed species. If you really looked into the lore, to um, stop and restrain the Giver. It's one of those who in the Karate Kid was a real bully sort of situations. Uh, anyway, um, you still have the tapes from one to six, two episodes each. Um, I know there's some sort of reboot to it, but I never got around to watching it. Yes, there was a reboot in 2003, I think, or 2013. I know that's a really big gap. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Or was it 2005? Oh, no, I'm just going to look it up. Like, all my memories are blowing together. Basically, it's no good. Diver remake anime date. 2005 like i don't know why i have this in my head but i'm pretty confident 2005 was like a shit year for anime like it was just remake nothing good was really happening like it was not good times um so yeah don't even waste your time mate uh, as far as i can say that's my recommendation well done for not bothering anyway um you couldn't find it in legal manner so you probably streamed it online thanks for reading i've watched most of your dwm episodes hashtag hardcore crew hashtag i'm doing it right am i doing it right hashtag i don't know how to hashtag <laughs> yeah, kind of doing it just fine dude <laughs> don't, don't worry about it these hashtags have just developed organically over time i don't even know what they're about i do know what they're about it's fine um yeah awesome i'm always really glad to hear if you guys are getting on with your own artwork and getting your own stuff done out of the way um and maybe you just have this rolling in the background whilst i've been doing my stuff it's always a pleasure it's like kind of artwork time let's just chill out and do stuff uh, Rossman Ultra says, long time watcher, awesome work as always. Thank you very much, Rossman. But you mentioned Android 18 speed up last time. Wow. So Boku no Hero Academia was coming up a lot yesterday and Android 18 and it's coming up again. Weirdly enough, I did one just to check out if you get time. It's a link to a YouTube thing. I will open it over here, but pause it immediately so all the sound effects don't kick in. Oh, I can see straight away. Oh, very nice. You've got this really ribbony effect on the hair that really separates up the strands. Very, very interesting. And you've got most of that, like, form and focus down straight away. Good work, sir. Good work. Keep it up. I'll watch that video um, with the sound on a little bit later down the line. Uh, Sina A. Finn says, having played D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons, I'm assuming, and knowing about Mikey's arachnophobia, I cannot deny that there's a great sense of uh, Schadenfreude uh, rushing through my body as he was about to check out those Dryder references. I'm a bad person. You completed my day. Yay. Thanks, mate. Sons of bitches. I'm not even going to go into it. Because I don't want to get worked up <laughs> for work. But I learnt about Dryders the other day. Learned about that for the first time in my life. Uh, the other day, last episode. Uh, and that was that was an experience. So thank you very much for widening my mind, you horrible people. Psychomantis says, draw um, Barry Tech from Macross with Robotech. Hashtag hardcore crew. Hashtag sip of tea. Let's have a little bit of coffee right now. And Javier Aguilar says, my art style is more realistic than cartoony, but I've tried to do an anime style. Can't get it down. My brother was artistic and did realism drawings. Unfortunately, haven't seen him draw in years. Hashtag hardcore crew. Yeah, like, you can draw in your own styles and techniques. Diving into anime, getting that face placement, like, right, all the features crammed down towards the chin and get cuter. And, like, the outside line of the draw, jaw is, like, a bit of a weirder shape of anime. It's a lot of things to get your head around. Obviously, the noses become just these dashes and lines, which is really tough for expressing, like, characters visually if they're based on real people as well um akria fairy meadows says mikey my first comment here longer fan excellent welcome along the noises you made when you looked up the dried have made my day sorry you had to go through that fear of spiders is definitely a thing i love your work and thanks for encouraging all of us artists you're welcome uh yeah if you like noises like that you'll probably, you'll probably like some of the let's plays that i've done from time to time on the channel every like this used to be not particularly a gaming channel but i used to play video games on this channel as well i plan on doing so again maybe not like for really long running rpgs and stuff because nobody wants to sit through and watch that um but in terms of like the scarier video games that tend to get quite a good response from you guys and things like dead space and evil within like yeah there's some fucking horrible spidery -ish shit in that so uh yeah, it's not the first time I've nearly cried <laughs> on a YouTube video. Uh, Caesar Solis says, hey, Mikey, hello, Caesar. First time commenting. Can you please draw some Data Live girls? Um, hashtag Karumi best girl. Rumi has also been uh, on the suggestions as well. Thank you very much. Wizstorm says, could you upload the drawing speed run at a normal speed so it's easier to follow? Uh, what drawing speed run? Are you talking about like the fan art stuff or any of this in particular? Um, 
but I'm not going to upload like solid two hours of just uh, this, although maybe that's what the live streaming thing will kind of cover instead in the future, we'll see. With Storm, uh, that was yours. Colby Senior says, I think I need to start watching Game of Thrones right from the start. Well, Colby Senior, funny you'd say that. If you want to get up to date with Game of Thrones right up to season five, the end of season four, um, but haven't got the time to do it because you're a busy working man, subscribe to Film Cram, my other channel, when I'm cramming all of this down. Thank you for that segue uh, <laughs> comment that led perfectly into Film Cram. Pookie says, hey Mikey, hello Pookie. Uh, I listened to this at work today whilst I did some fun rough sketching and wanting to tell you that you've kind of kicked me in the ass to try harder with my art. Thanks bro. Sorry about the essay. That's not an essay, that's absolutely fine. Some people write genuine essays, which is tough to get through. Hashtag hardcore crew, sips tea, mm, lemon ginger. Lemon ginger? Lemon ginger? All right, mate. Mm. Yeah, no, it's absolutely fine. Casey Ellis says, hey, Mikey, been a while. Uh, when the hell are you going to finish the Cindy video and get that coloured in and stuff? Oh, shit, yeah. Also, have you ever played Kingdom Hearts and have you played the new Crash Bandicoot remake? Lols, PSV anime in the school and shit is kill the kill. You're welcome. Hashtag hardcore crew. It was kill the kill when I talked about the school girl outfits. Thank you very much for the knowledge. Uh, Crash Bandicoot I played on the PS1. Crash Bandicoot 2 as well, maybe 3. They were fucking great games, especially the first one was fucking epic. Uh, so I don't even know if I'm interested in the remake, because that first one... Ooh, adi, 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 dun, 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 dun. Do you remember that? <laughs> Just came out of me. <laughs> I was in the middle of a sentence. I remember those sound effects and they leapt from my mouth. It's like a form of Tourette's. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. Uh, what, what else did you say? Oh yeah, Cindy, I've got a part three that. Uh, really randomly, like those videos are more interesting to people like it gets more views if i split them up if i just do it back to back one week the second week the other week and um, people don't really like click on the third or second videos as much but if i space it out people seem to be more interested it's a really odd thing uh gemma clough or gemma close says hi mikey hello gemma i'm listening to you at work thanks for getting me through this morning <laughs> if i feel you right now getting through the mornings is tough stuff i'm working on some bigger illustrative pieces at the moment and now considering recording and uploading time lapses of them to youtube oh do it any advice on being an artist on YouTube? You, Jazza, and Danika Sills have inspired me a lot. Hashtag take a sip. Uh, P.S. How many vids does one have to watch to use the hashtag hardcore crew tag? <laughs> you just... You can use the hashtag hardcore crew tag when you feel like you're capable of using it. That's the only way to know. Go ahead. Um, yeah, do it, man. That's like... Just bear in mind, like... Uh, I have no tips other than... Um, and I haven't seen any of your arts, so I'm not talking about you in particular, but like just understand like your artworks might be a bit rough or a bit shit. And uploading of videos, they might not be great videos and they might not be well loved. In the beginning, you might just hit the um, floor running, you never know. Um, so just do it and do it because you want to do it and that's going to be easy. If you're doing it because you're trying to like get results from other people, that's going to be hard. So upload your artwork, share it with the world and just kind of leave it out there and do your own thing. Uh, Jonathan Limbasher says, Hey Mikey, hello Jonathan. Just wanted to say thanks for getting me back into drawing. I've been watching your videos for a few months now. Hashtag hardcore crew, love the DWMs and your amazing art. You guys are too kind as ever. Obviously like... The DWM series, sometimes I draw stuff that looks pretty sharp, um, but it's mostly just sketching out ideas and getting some rough thoughts down. Here's a suggestion for a DWM one day. Alan Walker from D. Greyman. Keep up being awesome. Thank you very much. Good sir. Cursed Artistry says, I've never seen Game of Thrones, uh, so I thought you were drawing a guy at first. Yeah, that's kind of like a Brienne theme kind of thing. That's fine. And that one dude says, what's up, Mikey? I've been with your channel since the third or fourth DWM. Bloody hell, an old schooler. I fell hella behind on the series, but now that I finally caught back up, I can fucking comment. I say that I'll probably fall behind again because of school starting again. Hashtag hardcore crew. Hashtag lurker crew. Ah, oh, the lurkers. P.S. If this is a YouTuber's version of putting out rough ideas, then my rough ideas are like drawing with your offhand, but it's broken and tied to your back whilst you're drunk. Wow, that... That, you know, you say that one day that's going to be like a, one of Jazz's challenges, like drunk, tied behind the back, hand drawing, because he does some incredible challenge artwork these days. He's so skilled. Um, so, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, let's just scroll back to Gemma Gloves. You mentioned Jazza. I follow him. He's amazing. Uh, so thank you very much for putting me in the same sentence as him. I don't deserve it. Uh, Danica Sills, Control C. Search in a new tab. Always like stealing people's suggestions. Ooh, awesome. I'll come back to that later. Uh, how are we doing for time? Ooh, we're entering the um, final run again. We're going into rush zone time. So let's speed up the pace. Osun Vega actually likes spiders. 
click ban from the channel. Philip Hoyer says, uh, great art as always. And the things that got you into um, anime was uh, Akira and the original Gaiva. Those are the ones that really kicked you off. Um, and you also saw the live action film, the first Gaiva, Dark Hero. Gaiva's got Mark Hamill in it and it's got David Hayter. Those are the two things I remember from the live action films. I need to watch them again. There was some like bits and the scenes where they're fighting. It's a little bit Power Rangers-ish. Uh, but I did really quite enjoy it. Had a little heart. Um, Cartoon Girl Geek says amazing art. Really helped me redesign one of my old characters. I think you're rubbing off on me. Careful. <laughs> you can go to prison for that. I just um, had to give a huge tit. So I also feel like the opposite to you. I tend to draw sexy anime guys. But I do try to draw girls. Do you think you could do Keith or Shido from Voltron? I highly recommend a show. The animation is amazing and the story is gripping. I will take that as a suggestion. Thank you very much. Let's go into... New tab for that one. Oh wait, I can't keep opening all the new tabs. We need to space our way through your comments. Um, Eleven Jinjin likes to smoke weed and go through people's art profiles. Um, and then you came across Spider Women one day, and you came in a mouse but came out a man. <laughs> And Garrett Wycroft says, funny to mention both working on projects and the difficulty of drawing photos and people in an anime style, since that's exactly what your current set of projects are. Are oh, very good, sir. Um, the more cartoony instead of anime you make for those, the more easy I find it is just to get the idea in. You're spot on with an... Oh, I've... I've assumed your comments. You're spot on with a nose observation, you say. Without drawing a detailed nose, they really seem to end up looking like generic anime characters, still trying to find a way around that. Yeah, absolutely right, dude. Hashtag hardcore crew. Uh, everyday living with monster girls, Alex Barrero says. That is the anime I'm, I mentioned I'm probably never going to watch if I can avoid it. I will watch it, I'm sure, but I'm like going to have to work out which episodes are spider heavy and not watch those ones maybe um enzio matrix likes brian of tar from last time thank you very much and rian gill says hey mikey um speed for your comment you're proud of your work and have been smashing up the artwork for about a year um but what got you into it was a game five nights at freddy i know what that game is that got you into it you were playing a game and it ended up glitching out on me and a scene i witnessed was fucking hilarious and i wanted to find a way to capture the moment so i said fuck it and took out my notebook and illustrated the scene oh wow what a really weird way to get into it you illustrate into a comic it was terrible but you laugh when you look back on it and you've improved since cheers mate excellent that's, that's a really random way to get into stuff i'm very pleased uh joel short comment part your old man voice is awesome thank you very much joel we're gonna have to skip your long comment part which i'll have to read that later dude um for the sake of wrapping up this episode yeah, I think I got a bit voice... I'm probably going crazy. I got a bit voice heavy last time. Um, now it's just obviously sleepy Mikey. Mm. Uh. <laughs> John Forrester. I read that in uh, The Hound's voice. Brienne of Toph. You're drawing Brienne of fucking Toph. The Hound. Season 7, episode 6. Uh, John Forrester, yeah. Brienne of fucking Toph. I love how The Hound says all that sort of shit. Um, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Uh, Narian TX has a link which mentions uh, arachnophobia and something nicer to look at. I, this better be nice. Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a really nice picture. <laughs> it's a really nice picture of a kitten with some teddy bears. Thank you. <laughs> that is a nice little um, thing to... <laughs> it's just such a random nice internet picture. Ah, oh, here are some kittens. Oh. Um, but yeah, that is quite useful when I'm getting freaked out by the arachnophobia stuff. Jesse Schickler says, Hey Mikey, have you ever been to a convention to sell your work? I've been to one convention, I think, in my life, uh, which I made a quick vlog about somewhere on the channel. Um, Comic-Con 2016 I went to. Um, but going to sell the artwork, no, it's just that's just more work. Do you know what I mean? That's I like to go and then wander about a little bit and look at cool stuff and then go to the pub and relax and go to bed. I don't want to just be stuck there for three solid days making that a job. It's too much, too much for Mikey. Um... Lozzy Arts wants us to show pictures of what we're criticising. I don't know how we do that. It's mostly just me sketching visually. Um, I Need Jesus says, Hey, Mikey, I've been uh, getting into digital art and growing steadily. You've tried increasing and decreasing the stabiliser and thickening lines and making them thin. Uh, but so far, nothing works. It's about getting that good line art clean. That's one of my personal main gripes as well. So... Um, Keep messing around for brushes. Um, use strokes with slightly softer edge brushes. Play around with your opacity settings. Um, and also, 
like try to get the lines to be more flowing and quick it kind of means that you have to draw five or six random attempts before your quick line is exactly over your rough model is sitting exactly where you want it to be um, but getting that quick flow is kind of um, actually what I've been talking about a lot in the patron only uh, video for that last Hinata video as well um, getting the hair right I had loads of different flicking quick flowing attempts and then you'd see me kind of drawing it and deleting it a lot because the flow isn't quite right and then I'll get like a good line in, keep it going to the next strand and so on to block out. So uh, yeah, like the slower you work, the more wobbly things get. Try to get smoother and more natural. It's only going to come from practice, though, so just keep at it. Um, Rob Skardivore says, here's a riddle. What has a foot but not a leg? Answer, read backwards. A snail. Okay, thanks thanks for sharing, dude. Yep, and Likeable says, I usually like to draw these videos on the side. Uh, oh, excellent. Background, dulcet tones. Usually they're really nice to listen to in the background. Keeps me focused. I sometimes find music a bit distracting. Podcast, voiceover projects are my go-to listen when I draw. I really mix it up. I'm one or the other. Absolutely, but like I like to have something going on. I can't just work in silence. Although, oddly enough, sometimes I work really well in silence. Silence if you're doing language studies. Um, music or people talking in the background for artwork, I find. Uh, Steve O'Bread says your videos are a joy to watch. Thank you very much, good sir. Um, you got into drawing when you started getting into manga. You especially like the old work of Komi Naoshi, who made Nisekoi. He had a bunch of cool one shots, and his series got cancelled too early. You also feel inspired by Eureka Seven around the same time. Uh, and the Mosquito Girls are easily the worst monster girls. Mosquito Girls. I didn't mind a mosquito. Well. I didn't like it, I wasn't into it or anything, but there's a mosquito girl in One Punch Man in the beginning, I think. And I quite like the design for that and like her second evolved form. Uh, let's have a look at Nisekoi. We'll come back to that. Thank you very much for the suggestions. Um, Seven Ply Joyride says, hello, Mikey. Hello, SPJR. The anime that you're talking about was Inuyasha. Yes! Yes, it was. Dog Man in a red kimono style searching for shards. Thank you very much. A lot of the times I just can't remember something and I just ask you guys for help. As for your question, what made you want to draw Titanic? I wanted to learn to draw so I could travel the world doing portraits. <laughs> you want to paint those bitches, don't you? Like them French girls. I was seven, but I never lost that fire. Thanks for reading my comment. Hashtag hardcore crew. Pleasure. I like reading your comments. That's the whole point. Um, hey, Mikey, says Ian F. I love your drawing style and you've helped me so much develop my own skills. Like, in... Pretty much every episode, we go for a load of comments where you guys just say that these videos have really helped you out. That's fucking awesome. Like, I'm always so pleased to hear that sort of stuff. Um, So, good at it for a lot of you. Even if I don't manage to get to your comments, like, keep cracking on. Get that art out of the way. Uh, anyway, what are you saying? Please consider doing a Mass Effect drawing. I love the series. I love watching your playthrough. Thanks. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, we played Mass Effect. Um, Start to finish. Although I did slightly edit the videos down. But yeah, I did a Let's Play of all of Mass Effect 1. And someone in my last work very kindly lent me the free disc box set. Apparently Andromeda is shit and it's not worth playing. That's what I keep hearing in the background. Um, so, yeah, I've got the Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 still yet to play sometime in the future. I don't know if I'll make videos out of that one because, again, it's a bit more RPG-ish. But maybe you can do that, like, as a live streaming thing. If anyone ever wants to turn up and just hang out in the comments, I can just play that whenever I want and just make sure I live it. I don't know. We'll come to that. Um, Jericho Cross 97 says, having trouble with smudging, you should try an anti-fouling glove, my good friend. We've talked about this thing before in a DWO before. We probably have. Or even a playing card sometimes helps, although if it's too waxy, it'll slide around the page. You might have good grip. Um, Loot Abney says, hi, Mikey. Can you do a tutorial on how to draw a skull? <clears throat> I will get to some really particular anatomy style tutorials sometime a bit further down the line in terms of slightly more realistic. doesn't have to be realism. Um, but slightly more realistic styles of features in terms of what are the muscle groups and the bones behind it that build up that sort of thing. So I'm thinking about making that like more of a digital, like do it on the tablet style thing. I need to rough it out of my mind. But it'd also be a bit shorter, like uh, just a real kind of quick whip, whip through where I've probably pre-done a few of the layers and just talk about a few, few of the things as a reference point. We'll see. We'll come back to that. Um, Daisuke Uchiha says, Hey, Mikey, you like your videos and your tutorials are very useful. I'm very pleased. Just working on concept sketches of your characters. Excellent. Let's have a quick scroll up. Oh, man, there's loads of loads of comments we're not going to have time to do. Um, let me say, <clears throat> Julian Canchola or Julian Canchola has suggested a load of uh, themes and musics to put on whilst listening to, uh, whilst doing your own artwork in the background. Thank you very much for your suggestions. Sorry, I haven't got time to read it out, but I am going to copy, paste, save that comment and have a listen to some of those. Um, uh, Silence562, Jose, Dior on TV. I really love you guys for your comments. 
Protanic, I'm Aspect GFX, Ellie Nash, Zatra, the Legacy, Psychomantis, Michael Navar, Pro Raid Animations, Cloudmere Colombia, Game Bacon, Jai Zoo, Future Artistic Soldier, Eok Ashes, loads of you guys, Emil, Victoria Nolo, Choli Vision, Elite Ghost Kills, Frozen Wolf, Noiva, Perplexing Donny, Chicken One, you, oh man. So basically, I'm reading out the names of some people who've commented and put like these really, well, not, not crazy long, but like quite long comments we're not going to have a chance to read through. So let me say thank you so much for getting in a comment section as ever. And if I've not read yours, um, but you've got something to say, don't hesitate to just copy paste it into the next episode and hopefully I will catch it then. So yeah, um, in the time lapse part on the video of this episode, nothing particularly time lapsed. I think it took me about this long in real time just to put together a really quick cartoon. I just wanted to get the idea down of like how, you know, the Night King must have just been like, oh fuck, I've got a dragon now. But ha if I didn't have a dragon, what the fuck was I going to do? Um, and of course, just get this episode sorted and say hello to you, lovely lot. I will see you all next week. Thanks forever as watching. You guys are the best. Take care.